Okay, so what we need to do is compile our map. So you go to light options, you select your map, and P tutorial, select light options, and go fast, extra, and verbose. Make sure all three of those are checked. Then come down here and make sure enable cheat and enable developer are checked. That's basically all you need to do. Now, what you need to do is just go through the step process of one, two, three, four, five, and compile your BSP. The BSP, what that is, is that'll go through your map and it'll just check everything. It'll make sure the lighting's good, make sure the light's good, good, everything is just perfect. It'll make sure everything is perfect. And mine didn't really work out last time. It kind of killed over on me. It'll always, when you come in, it'll always be in a windowed mode. Always, always, always. So, what you need to do is you need to reset that. You go to the console, which is tilde backslash r underscore full screen come down and hit one I'm not gonna do it cuz well pff, last time I tried to do it it killed over on me so hit ok you could hit quit and it says press any key to continue cuz it's done you hit ok you hit enter next thing you need to do is hit compile your reflections this com depending on how big your map is this could take five minutes it could take a half an hour it really depends on how big the map is and how many reflection probes you have on your map see we only put on two reflection probes in our map because we only had two rooms that's just basically how it goes the more reflection probes you have the longer it's going to take for it to compile your reflections so you click on that it launches this up and here in a little while it'll say up here at the top team deathmatch mp underscore tutorial at least that's what my that's what the, the name of my map is because I'm creating these tutorials for you guys. So once that comes up, you just let it do its thing. You have to wait. It is a waiting process. See, it just popped up. Now, if you hit Control Alt Delete right now, it'll say the program is not responding. Trust me, it's just doing its job. It's just working its things out. It's just trying to re compile those reflections. So also, like I said, it could take five minutes. Could take thirty. Um, with this process, doing it the first time, it could take, you know, about three to four minutes, so. Okay, so as you see up here in the top left-hand corner, it's compiling all the reflections from the reflection probes, and then it exits the program. It's done. Compiling deflections is done. Next thing you need to do is build the fast file. Now, yours isn't going to look like mine. I've already compiled the map to make sure it's working okay, and everything is working just fine. You should only have a couple of errors that come up. When it shows these errors, all it's saying is, I couldn't find the file. I couldn't find them. You haven't created them yet. So I'm going to use the stock the stock files. Hit OK. Next thing you need to do is update your zone files. Now, it's going to say, if you haven't done this for the first time, this is your very first time compiling ever, 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 it's going to say, there are no zone files. Would you like to create them? You say yes. If, you ha if it says their missing assets.csv could not be found then look on the bottom of the description of the video for this video and I'll show you a step-to-step -step process of how you can create the missing assets.csv file once you do that and you create that file then you hit update zone files and it'll come to this screen right here now yours should only have like that in there that's the only thing it should be in there and then there should be just a couple of things over here on the right side on, I'm, I'm sorry, on the left side. You grab those, control C, and then control V them over here on the other side. And then you hit save. Now, when, you up, when you've when you compiled your map and you hit update zone files, it's always going to have this stuff over here. You can either just keep control C, control V over there, and make this list as long as you want. It doesn't really matter. So the next thing you do, after you've updated zone files, you need to build the fast file one more time. You should come up with all these other errors. Hit OK, and then hit Run Selected Map. Now what you need to do, need to take into notice is that there are going to be errors here. This is a, this is a shoot and miss right now. You're compiling it for the first time. So once it sets up the game and you hit Auto Assign, you join in, it shouldn't be like what you're seeing on my screen. Some what it should be look like looking like is there should be a huge red thing in front of your face. In this part, it should look black. You shouldn't be able to see your hands. You'll see a floating gun in your face. If you hold down the trigger, it'll show that the gun is shooting, yet it's just floating in your face. If you try to throw a grenade and you watch the explosion, it'll say FX in red letters. 
that's normal. That's the first time that you've ever compiled the map. So what you do is once you've seen that, you know, just switch over to your gun a little bit, shoot your gun off, go, you know, kind of do a couple knife things, throw off a flashbang or two, have it show that FX deal, and then you want to do is you want to leave the game. Hit OK, quit, yes. And then you need to come back here and update your zone files again. Now it should have a bunch of things over here on the left side. Copy everything. Control C, come down to the bottom, Control V, and save. And then build your fast file one more time. Should come up with more errors, but that's okay. Press any key to the continue and run your selected map. And that's it. You're finished. You are done with your map and compiled your map. Now you can play it as much as you want. And then in the, in the mode while you're playing it, you can see if you find any errors that you find. See if there was something that you missed. You know, that's always a good way to second, to second check yourself.